everybody, or just Shore64 here, and in this video, we're gonna actually finish creating the skybox that we did, and we're going to do some more stuff. So, to finish our skybox, let's go to assets, import package, skyboxes. Wait, where is it? There we go. Skyboxes. Decompressing. Then, when you get a this screen, click import. Okay, just wait for that. La 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 la. La 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 Click the skybox material and then click this little circle right here. And now, um, now you'll find a bunch of skyboxes that you will see. Now, if you click on the one, you should see, see it appear in the scene view. So if we click on the same one, it should turn to that one. Two, three. Um, and how about we do Dawn Dusk? And yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? Okay, now that we got a like evening one, now what we'll do is we'll actually create duplicates of the invisible walls so again try to make it like at the end of the terrain actually delete this one because we'll just make our own so go to like the other side of your terrain and then if I could get there there we go and then go game under create cube again. There we go. And let's put it fifty in the x axis and fifty in the y axis. There we go. I don't think that's a very good wall. 100. There we go. That's much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, of course, take off the mesh render so it can be invisible. And call this ID IW. Hold on. <coughs> Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um. Now that okay, if you do not have it over the entire. Okay, this is really weird. Okay, make it a thousand. There we go. Okay, now that we got an actual invisible wall. Now, um, let's not worry about these walls for now. Um, are we good? Uh, yeah, we're good, pretty much. And no, we're not. Let's should just do this last wall. No, that'll be a waste of time. Okay, now that we got a skybox, a player, two invisible walls. Now we can get into the fun stuff. Now, let's create a volcano. We. Okay, so on the terrain editor, go to this paint height, 
and then um, set the height to 50 okay opacity will make the 50 and then the brush size will be 100 go and then now let's make the brush size 50 and then the opacity 50 and then just put it at 20 yeah we'll have water in our volcano so this is a volcano I don't know if I mentioned this, but it looks okay. Um, one hundred and one hundred. Here we go. Okay, now that we got a volcano, I don't think it looks much like a volcano yet because we don't have the right textures. Now, go to paint textures, go edit texture, add texture, select, select and then select cliff layer. Then add it. Target strength. Just leave it as one. I'll actually do it as 10. And then, actually 40. Go and... Hold on, I'll, I'll show you when you're done. Like, just paint the volcano however you want. And add a texture and um, add the grass and rock. Okay, I'll show you what it should look like when it's done. Okay, now when you're done, uh, your volcano should look something like that. If it doesn't, um, just live with it. So, now we got a volcano, now we gotta make it real. So you need steam for a volcano, because there's all of it. Right. Okay, actually go to top view. There we go. Okay, do deselect the terrain by just clicking something else. So now what we'll do is we'll do hierarchy create particle system. Okay, now I have no clue how to use this new particle system that they used in 3.5 and up, but I'm just going to remove this component and add the legacy particle so go to add component effects legacy particles and lipsoid particle emitter and then add component effects legacy particles particle animator and then fixed legacy particles and the render so now that we got that, um, go under materials, you'll see element O with no materials, click the little circle thingy, and then go all the way down until you see default particle right here. And click it, and then now you should see the regular particle system that 
stays in 3.4 and under. So now that we got that, um, actually, put it right in the center. Okay, now that we have that, um, let's decide on what the size is. Put one, two, three, four, Okay, now let's do world velocity. No, 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 we don't want. Actually, yes, world velocity. Um, uh, and why we wanted to go 50. No, no, wait, 30. Um,. Yeah, I think we're going to have to make this 50. And then 50. Oh, wow. We didn't even have it in the volcano. Put it actually in the volcano. Let's see how it looks now. Um, doesn't look so real. So now we'll do is we'll get it animator color animation zero. We'll select it as um black. And then a little bit lighter, then gray, and then a little bit lighter gray, and then there, light gray. So now it should look something like that. Okay, make sure it doesn't have a white spot. Let's make this 80. 80. Actually, how about we do the min size 50 and the max size 100. There, that looks more like one. Okay, I know it doesn't look really like volcano smoke, but it looks a real, little real, so you gotta live with it. Not really, I don't really know how to do art, so, or blender art, or anything like that, so, just live with it. Or I think it's actually textures. I oh, don't know, but let's get on the game. Let's see how much time I have. Uh, I still have like a little time left, so um, I don't really know what to do. Oh yeah, let's right now let's actually create a key. So I gotta game object create other cube. Let's go to that cube and then we'll um we'll put a zero dot five zero dot five and then zero dot five. There we go. Wait, 
zero dot five. Uh huh. There we go. That will be our stick. There we go, and we'll put this key stick. Object creator cube. Uh, remove that. Up here. Now these cubes are actually going to be real really weird looking cubes okay let's use the scale to okay now that we got that now oh my god stop moving so fast all right, now we'll do key hold. There we go, and now let's actually create an empty game object. Select key. Go, and then select the key hold, and this key stick into the e game object. So now what we'll do is, how much time do I have? Okay, I'm actually really over time, so I'll have to see you in the next video, and I'll end it here. So, see you in the next video. Bye.